Hello everyone, I am Sharon Collier. I am a homeschooling mother of four children. If you are new here, hello. I make homeschooling, lifestyle, farm life, motherhood videos. If that interests you, make sure to subscribe. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. <laughs> um, anyway, today I wanted to share the math curriculum I picked for my second grader and why I picked it. All right, you guys, if you um, have been here for a little while, I did a video on why I'm no longer continuing Saxon math. I'll leave, it, I'll leave it either linked below or in one of the corners. I'm not sure which corner it is, but I'll leave it um, linked if you guys want to go see what, if you want to go watch it. I will leave it linked for you. Um, but yeah, basically I just, I was telling you guys that sax math was just way too time invest, invested, like way too much of a time investment for me as the teacher. And I mean, there were other reasons why, but that was just the biggest reason. My children. Okay, anyway. Um, so I did a lot of I did a lot of research on math curriculum curriculums for the younger years I watched some videos I watched like homeschool ons I think she had like 10 different math curriculums in that video so I watched that um my best friend she has a daughter that is the same age as my second grader and she uses Matthew C and so just hearing just asking her about it. So basically with all that research done, I was torn between Matthew C and math lessons for a living education. And I was actually going to purchase Matthew C because um, my daughter is a pain, like handwriting is not a fun thing for her and I, like it's not fun for her, so it's not fun for me to make her do it. And so like copy work and handwriting and just, mm, I just don't want to deal with it. Um, and math lessons for a living education did have that in it. And I was like, okay, well, I just, I'll just go with Matthew C, even though I kind of like the idea of math, math lessons for a living education. I kind of like that idea. I mean, that curriculum better, but I'll just stick with Matthew C. Um, but after... I posted that video a lot of you guys suggested math lessons for a living education and I asked some of you like what about the copy work hold on what okay so I asked some of you about um, what about the copy work like I I'm I've, I've, I'm interested in it but I don't the copy work just I'm not interested in that and a lot of you um, one of you responded that it wasn't that big of a deal and you could just leave it out if you wanted. And so with that in mind, I decided that I would purchase it. And so I have it right here to show you guys. Um, I'll tell you why I picked this one and then I will give you an overview. I may have already said that. But the reasons why is because it, I'll just show show you if I can hold on it gives you a story to read and then for the rest of the week you have exercises based on that story that you do and I really like that idea I liked the idea that I could just spend some time in the beginning of the week read the story with her and then for the rest of the week, each day, we just work on a worksheet together. That just sounds a lot less time involved for me. And I, like I said in the Saxon math video, I'm on the go a lot. And you guys, like, this is one book. This is it. <laughs> when I got it in the mail, I was like, what? <laughs> I know that there's only one book, but I feel like there should be more. But this is it. So with us being on the in the car a lot, this is going to be really nice to have. And then um, another thing I do like is that in the very beginning, 
they give you all the manipulatives i'll show you in a closer up but they give you all the manipulatives that you need so i'm just gonna collect them all put them in, in the bit put collect them all put them all in a bin and there i will have it just ready to go and i won't have to go searching my whole house for a whole bunch of different stuff <laughs> so yes that is why um, I like that it has the storytelling in it. I love that it is a Christian based one. So I really like that. I like that it's a little more colorful. I mean, I know like, let's see, here's a colorful one. Like it has color in it. I know Saxon math does not, but I also know that that may not necessarily work for each child like color doesn't necessarily mean better um it just depends on your child's style so i guess we will find out we will find out if this works for my daughter but another thing i like is that it was only less it was less than 40 dollars where i don't even remember what i spelled, spent on sax math but i feel like it was around 100 or more i don't I don't know it was a price it was pricey um so yeah so I'm gonna give this a sh try we're gonna try this out um I'm actually gonna finish up my Saxon math one just the I went through the rest of the lessons that my daughter had and picked the ones that taught um new concepts so we're gonna do those lessons that teach the new concepts for the rest of March and then we will begin on this. So in January, February, March, April, April we will begin. We'll, why can I not talk? I'm blaming it on my pregnancy. Um, so in April we will beginning, we will be beginning the math lessons for our living education. Oh my gosh, there we go. That was not that hard. That was way too hard. Okay, so I will for sure do a video for you guys letting you know you know after we've used it for a while letting you know how we like it how we don't like it um so but obviously that will be months away we'll be doing doing it first and now i will give you guys a just a little overview inside of it to see what it offers so you guys know if that's something you would like to do this is math lessons for a living education level two. And the first thing it has is the scope and sequences telling you what each lesson teaches. And then it talks about um, using the course and the course objective. It says it's approximately 30 minutes a day, five times a week. And then it has a list of all the manipulatives you will be using, um, grading, flashcards just gives you the, a general overview of all that and then it shows you each lesson so each lesson lasts one week and then you have five days you will be doing one to two exercises and there are 36 lessons in this level the first thing that it starts with is a story you read the story and that is your lesson and you talk I'm assuming you talk it over with your kids and then for the next five days you have exercises one to two pages a day and I was intimidated by the copy work but this is actually all the copy work that I saw when I was flipping through this book um, basically just copying the numbers which I am perfectly fine with it's not like I'm copying sentence well not me but my daughter copying sentences um so that looked really good to me and here's another lesson so another week another lesson and then this book is just bright and colorful it talks about money measurements addition subtraction I am really looking forward to doing it with my daughter. And then here in the back, it has some sheets that you will pull out and laminate and reuse through the whole course. 
And that is it, you guys. I'm really looking forward to doing this, like I said. And I hope that it will work out for my daughter and I. All right, you guys. That was it for my reasons why and overview of math lessons for a living education. Um, if you like the video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.